So we're talking about boxes and blocks in cascading style sheets and specifically um, blocks which are those invisible squares, those invisible shapes that we place inside an HTML document by the placement of the HTML, HTML um, elements, those attributes, the tags, all those things form the shape of the document. Well, we can actually style those blocks as boxes. And the way that we do that is to use some of the properties of boxes, such as, and here are some of the examples, border, height, width, margin, and padding. Now this all involves using the CSS box model. So um, it's useful to think of this as if um, you had a box, like a cardboard box, and inside the box, there's some content. Okay, you can imagine, let's put some, let's put some text in that box. Now, the actual text inside the box is the content and surrounding that content is, you can visualize it as a kind of bubble wrap. That's the space between the content and the actual cardboard box, the actual border of the box. And that's called the padding. And then we have the actual cardboard box itself, the actual border, which is called the border. And what we can do is we can style the actual uh, parts of the border and parts of the padding. So let's look at some examples and we'll start off and let's say, let's have a look at the border. We could set the border style and there's a whole bunch of uh, built-in words that we can use, none, hidden, dotted, dash, solid, etc. And we could set the border width and there's lots of different ways of specifying sizes in CSS and HTML. You could use pixels, you could use points, you could use M's. We could set the border color and that's done using either the built-in names that we have for colors or we use the standard hexadecimal notation with colors that you find using the web. And we can set those all at once or we can set them individually for each of the different sides. So let's look at some examples of this then. So let's take the H2 element and let's set the border style to be solid. And if we uh, place that inside a page and we run that, what we'd get is we'd get this. So you see the two H2 elements have suddenly got a border style of solid. We could say, turn the border style dotted and it would look like that. Or we could say, make it be dashed and it would look like that. We could turn it solid and then say, let's have a particular color for that border style. Let's make the border color red. There we go. We could change the width of the border. Now, remember here, what we're actually doing is we're changing, if you visualize it as that cardboard box, we're actually changing the width of the cardboard. So that's gonna be how deep that red line is on this page. We could say border width equals 10 pixels. And it would look like that. Now we can set an element's width, of course. And when we do that, what we're actually doing is we're actually changing the width of the content. In other words, what's the thing that's actually inside the box? And again, we could use pixels or points, or we can use percentages or any of the kind of standard measures that we can use on the web. That's the width. So uh, remember width here is actually um, talking about the actual width of the content, not the width of the border although there'll be a consequence of that. When we change the width, of course, the border will change as a consequence of it. So for example, if we go here, you can see I've got border style solid. So you can see the actual width of the H2s. And I could go width is 50%. What will happen is that will uh, become 50% of the window, just like that. So remember when we're changing width, what we're actually doing is we're changing the width of the actual item that's inside the box. We could change the padding. And remember, if you visualize the padding as being the bubble wrap, that's what sits between the content of the box and the border. It's like this. And either we can do it all at once or we could set the padding individually. So we can go padding top, padding right, padding left, etc. So let's have a look at a quick example here. You can see I've styled the H2. 
and I've got border style solid. And I've set the width to be 50%. But what happens if I add some padding, if I increase the padding into that box? What I'm doing, if you think about it, just visualize that I'm adding more bubble wrap in. So I go padding uh, 10 pixels, we get that. I could change the margin. Now, the margin is the space between the elements. Um, and special rules are kind of uh, used to calculate the gap between two horizontal elements, but I don't want to get in that too much. Here, here's the margin. And what we're actually doing is we're saying, set the spacing around the element, between the elements. So for example, have a look at this. Now you can see I've got my border style solid. I've got the width of 50%. And I've got the padding of being 10 pixels. What happens if I say the margin is 20 pixels? So this is the space around the box, between the boxes that we have. So if we put in margin 20 pixels, we get that. Now notice how it's actually pushed the items apart a little bit, and you can see how the margin is pushing the H2 elements in off the side a little.